Hello and welcome back to Bee Monster Laboratory. Today we're going to take a look at Code Combat. If you've never heard of this, it's a video game that allows you to learn software programming concepts and languages. You can learn to code in languages such as HTML, JavaScript, Python, CoffeeScript. Let's go check it out. So when we started playing this a couple weeks ago, it's the first time I'd ever heard of Code Combat. It takes a video game and the opportunity to learn how to code in different languages and you put those together for something educational and entertaining. Brilliant idea. There's a single player and a multiplayer option on this game, which I think is awesome. You can pick up different heroes, different weapons and pets. Now you can play the free version, but you're not going to get every level. You're not going to get every hero. So all the options aren't available to you, but it's still neat nonetheless. Now I know a lot of schools use this with their students, but I do like the idea of owning our own account so that we can go through it at our own pace. So with that said, I'm going to show you some of the features that are actually on the game. Let's go look at it. The first thing I'll do is show you the website here. The website is codecombat.com. You come down here and we're going to go right here. I'm a parent. That's, what, that's how I entered this. You can also enter as an educator or a student, but if you look down here you can see that they have another game called Ozaria, which I have not played. And if you scroll down here, they have um, testimonials from students and teachers uh, about their experience with Code Combat. And they have they show you the tools that you uh, you can use in the classroom. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can get quotes for your classroom. You can also scroll down here and look at the awards that Code Combat has won. But we're going to scroll back up here to the top and go in as a parent. So in the parent section here you can scroll down and there's an option for uh, live online classes and boy are they expensive. If you scroll down here you can take you can take uh, group sessions or you can do private ones as well. That is a little bit expensive but uh, that may be something that you're interested in for your child or nephew or grandchild. If you come down here uh, you can see the premium price of $99 a year. If you want to play, you, you can pay monthly as well, and that's $10 a month. That is what I currently do. If you are a premium member, you do get access to all the heroes. You get access to pets and skills. You do get access to bonus gems where you can buy gear, pets, and more heroes. And you can unlock a deeper understanding of core concepts and skills, which means that you can play all the levels that they offer. And keep in mind, if you only play the free option, you do get, I believe, four, an option of four heroes, and not all the, the levels are unlocked, but it gives you a sense of you know, what to expect when you do pay. You do also get support for subscribers, which I have never used. And you can, this is the cool part right here, you can create private clans and invite, invite your friends to uh, compete on a group leaderboard. That is multiplayer part right here. That's pretty neat. As you scroll down, it just tells you what parents like about Code Combat. And here it gives you an idea of what to learn, what to expect as a beginner, an intermediate, and advanced Code Combat player. So uh, we'll scroll back up here. We will go to uh, Code Combat, uh, Try Code Combat. So this is the free part right here. And I would just sign up as an individual because I'm not affiliated with a class of any sort and I'm not a teacher. So you just put in your date of birth. I just signed up with Google. You can also sign up with Facebook as well, and then you create your account. And like I said, you get an option of uh, four different heroes and some of the levels, not all the levels. Now I'll go ahead and log in, and uh, I will log in with my Google account. All right, so this is my account, and we will go to play. So when you log in with your premium account, you will see that the game is separated into different worlds. We'll call these worlds. There's the dungeon world, and once you defeat that, I've done 46 out of 51, you open up the backwoods forest world, and that is 124 different levels. Once you open, or once you defeat that, you will move on to the desert world. Once you defeat that, you'll open up the others. And then finally, the last world, which looks difficult, and it has question marks on it. So if we come back here, and you look down at the bottom, this says uh, syntax methods, parameters, strings, loops, and variables. This is the beginner level, the easiest level, and these are the objectives that you're expected to learn 
to progress to the next world. Now there are other areas of the game and we'll call these uh, sub worlds, right? These worlds are smaller. There are only 20 levels as opposed to the worlds which have more levels. And in the sub worlds you learn game development and web development. I have not attempted these, but I may do videos on them separately. If you look down here at the bottom, it'll tell you a little bit about your character. It tells you how many blue gems that you have and you earn blue gems by completing levels. It'll give you a certain number of gems and uh, so that's how many you have there. I'm level 21 and then this is my name on here and if you click that it'll show my profile and uh, settings, payment options, subscription, stuff like that. So if you click on the profile it has uh, clan information. You can join more than one clan but uh, it has that up here. It has single player levels that I've finished and last played and down here it has multiplayer levels that I have completed as well and it shows you the score. And at the bottom down here, it has the achievements that I last got. So if you look over here, you have the option to open the clans tab here. And you can create your own clan uh, with the create new clan tab here. And you can also make it private or make it public. This is a list of all public clans. And you can scroll down through here. As you can see, I joined this one. You can join uh, any clan unless it is private. So you just click on join. And I don't know how long it takes to join, but... Uh, you will join eventually. This tells you how many heroes are in the clan. This tells you the clan name and the leader of the clan. If you click on the name here, it brings up the profile of the clan leader and it tells you all the same information that you see on your own profile. And you can scroll down through here and you can see there are a ton of clans. If you click on this tab, you can see the clans that you belong to. So now I belong to two clans. I don't know if there's a maximum number of clans you can belong to but that's where you see that information if you come down here you can click on this icon it shows you the items you can buy in game for your different heroes you can see the uh, for the wizard you've got the miscellaneous items and they include animals uh, apparently flags and pets and you come down here to accessories primary and secondary weapons and armor and uh, so we'll just click on one of these we'll click on a uh, wand here and if you look over here, it'll give you the information about the wand, such as the damage per second and the range. And if you come down here, it'll give you the skills granted by the wand, which is attack and attack range, and the words associated with the code in making these skills work in the game. If you come down here and you click on the heroes icon, you can see the all the heroes available, at least so far to me, on the game. And as you uh, click down the line here, the heroes get more powerful and more expensive all the way to uh, 12,000 of these gems. Again, I don't have enough to buy this. When you click on a hero, it has a little something about them up here at the top, and it'll tell you the difficulty of using them, and the type, and the warrior. It'll also tell you health, damage, and speed. And that that's the same for each one of these heroes. Go down here and click on the Achievements tab. It will give you a list of all the achievements that you achieved and how long ago you achieved them. And uh, down here it will give you a list of all the achievements that you have not yet achieved. This is unfinished right here. And uh, it lists all the ones that you can get. And as you can see, there's quite a few. And over here in this uh, icon right here, it's an option to buy gems. You can pay money for gems. If you have an extra $20 laying around, you can buy 25,000 gems, which may help you significantly in the game. But, again, I don't want to do that. I want to earn mine on my own. When you're ready to begin playing the game, you go to the dungeon. That is the beginner level, the beginner world here. And each one of these circles with a star in it is a different level. The different levels will tell you a little something about the level. Here, you got to grab the gem and escape the dungeon. But don't run into anything else. So that's what you got to do to get to the other side of the level. You start on one side and get to the other side. And you'll use uh, basic syntax in your code to get to the other side to complete the level. Each level has something to say, a little hint about what you need to do. And it'll tell you down here the um, basic skills and techniques you'll need to know or that you will learn in writing your code to complete the objective. Each one of these has that. Uh, I'll do this one over here. I did finish this level, but I did reset it. It's called the Final Kith Maze. To escape, you must find your way through an Elder Kithman's Maze. 
and you'll understand arguments, basic syntax, variables, and while loops to complete the code, to complete it. So for this level, I will use the knight right here, and I'll hit play, and it tells you the goals here. You, your hero must survive, defeat the ogres, navigate the maze, do it in under 10 statements, and collect the gems. Over here you get a full picture of the level, whereas over here you don't. And down here it says be sure to call find nearest enemy uh, only when you see an enemy. And we see that the path taken is right, up, right, down, down, up, right, and the path repeats. And there's an enemy in the same spot in the repeating pattern. So we'll come down here and start the level. So over here it says use wild true loop to both move and attack. So while true, let's uh, move right. And you don't even have to type the whole thing in. You can move right. Then you want to move up. So move up. And then you want to move right again. So move right. And then you want to find the nearest enemy. And attack. And then move down. Attack enemy. Uh, move down move down, move up, and then it'll repeat. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight moves, and you see that the pattern repeats after that. Right, up, right, attack, down, down, up, right, up, right, attack, down, down, up, right, and so it's a repeating pattern. So this is the loop, and this is what the loop will do. So let's watch it. So I, I did survive. I did all the objectives. I survived. I got all the gems. I killed the enemies. And I did it in under 10, uh, 10 commands. So that is how you do that one. And if it were the first time that I won, I would have some gems here and gain some experience. And you can also view leaderboards. And you can see that I did it nine seconds ago. So I guess these are the people that have done it most recently. And you can actually watch. Apparently, you can watch how they did it. So that's how they did it. Anyway, let's go back to... Alright, so that is, uh, that's just an example of what you have in the beginner level. And to back out of a world into the, the main map again, you come up here and you click on this world here for campaigns. And we can come right over here and I will show you the forest world really quick. And in the forest world, you've got the same setup. I'll come over here to the next level that I'm supposed to do, which is Munchkin Swarm. Gives you the same information here and what you're expected to learn to finish the level here. Not a problem. I'll select this hero. Code combat. The ingredients to beat the level are, and then it tells you what you need to do. Put them all together to break the chest open and survive the munchkin onslaught. Alright, check the distance to the nearest enemy. Nearest enemy equals K. Okay. If it comes closer than 10 meters, cleave it. If distance is less than I think I need a space there 10 meters a hero cleave Oop. if I could type that would help hero cleave nearest enemy maybe See how that works. Come down here. Else. 
hero attack. I think it's good, let's see what it looks like. And no. that and you can come up here to dueling grounds which I have played I think all I can here but I can at least show you what that looks like play Code combat. and come over here to start level so this was the code that was entered to beat this person That's the ladder. <laughs> you can view win-loss records down here. We have just scratched the tip of the iceberg with this code combat, and I do believe it is a good way to get your young student involved in learning how to code. Um, code combat. If they're not taking it in a class or getting some kind of outside instruction while doing this, They'll have to really be motivated to want to know how to do this. They'll have to research all this stuff on their own. So if you are just doing it on your own, you may get frustrated. There are answers out there on the, on the internet for all these levels, but that is really just a last resort. You don't want to go straight to those answers because when you do that, you won't retain the information that you learn through, uh, by working through each problem. So at $10 a month, uh, see what you think. There's nothing to download. You work straight from their website. You may like it Well, that's all I've got for today. Hopefully this information was beneficial to you uh, If you've used code combat or you're using it now, let me know what you think about it Let me know what you think about the video as well in the comments down below and as always Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon